Sir, uh, will the Honorable Minister be kind enough to answer my specific question? I will give a set of very specific answers to the very specific questions of the Honorable Member. Will this government not purchase any Russian oil? Will they stop this Indian refiners from buying discounted okay, oil okay. from Russia? We are not here to score points or to enter into debates. We are here to get back those 69 people because Indian citizens should not be serving in the army of foreign countries. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, will the Honorable Minister be kind enough to answer my specific question? He has accepted that there are 69 Indians who are stuck in Russia. Will the Indian Embassy in Russia ensure that these boys who are stuck at Russia-Ukraine border, will you facilitate them and bring them to Moscow? And eight have died, two boys' dead bodies uh, from Punjab and Haryana, the DNA have been done. These body, this bodies have not been returned. One Kashmiri boy, Zahoor, no, no one knows about his whereabouts. And he, as he knows, that one Baba vlogs in Dubai, Faisal Khan in Russia, Moin, Ramesh and Pushpri, these are the main criminals sitting in Russia and one in Dubai who are misguiding our youth. Will the government first cancel their passports, issue an LOC, and third, if the Russian government is not taking us okay. serious, I'm coming, if the Russian government is not taking us serious, will this government not purchase any Russian oil? Will they stop this Indian refiners from buying discounted okay, okay. oil from Russia? Sir, I will give a set of very specific answers to the very specific questions of the Honorable Member. Uh, there are, uh, as I said, sir, eight Indian nationals who unfortunately uh, died while in service with the Russian armed forces. Four of them, their mortal remains have been sent to India with the uh, payment made by the Indian Community Welfare Fund. In one case from Haryana, the Russian foreign ministry has informed us about his death. They have sought a DNA test report to identify him. This has been sent to the Russian side. We are following up. In one case relating to a person from Gujarat, the family wants cremation in Russia. The necessary authorization from the family has been obtained. It has been sent to the Russian side. In a case from Punjab, uh, the Russian side has uh, uh, re requested for DNA sample. That DNA sample is being provided. And finally, uh, in the case of uh, 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 from Uttar Pradesh, sir, the eighth case, uh, the family has sent their wishes that the mortal remains should be brought back. We expect that it will be brought back. Regarding the people who are involved in the trafficking, sir, we will have to go by what the CBI inquiry has uh, told us, because that is evidence, that is what is legally uh, permissible. We have uh, 19 people, including, sir, some of the names that the Honorable uh, Member uh, had referred to. Uh, in each case, uh, the inquiries are going on. Pro in many cases, the prosecution is going on. So I can assure the Honorable Member through you, sir, that we take this very, very seriously. His last point, what is the status of discussions between us and the Russian government? I think uh, it would be fair to say that after the Prime Minister himself has taken up the matter with the Russian President, and the Russian President has himself given an assurance. We should not jump the gun and say the Russians are not serious on this matter. I think it is important to uh, hold the Russian government to their word. Uh, it is, uh, for us, most important. We are not here to score points or to enter into debates. We are here to get back those 69 people because Indian citizens should not be serving in the army of foreign countries.